Hello, friends of crypto price charts. Ah, it's E. Giuliano here. It's September 20, 2021. Coming back with another video to showcase some price charts here that I've been looking at following a bit, not as closely as the uh, KMD and the, and the R and the BTC, but, you know, definitely been keeping an eye over here, uh, either by request or by personal interest. So I'm gonna go check it out. I'm keeping the track as the first look here, track BTC, this is the origin, origin trail. <laughs> wow, so this is on the daily price chart. And here we go, the last couple days, we have broken out of that uh, candling, uh, sorry, candling, <laughs> triangling. And uh, we had this range going, we've broken out of the triangle at the same time. So if you were watching that video, you know what I'm talking about. And that was a spotted from quite a big try. This is a big triangle from 2020. So my friends, this is no joke. And so, yeah, you can definitely look for higher moves now. Okay, everything else is dumping. If it dumps too, then uh, yeah, none of this is financial advice, by the way, right? But on a weekly time timeframe, um, yep, it's had five weeks in a row of strength. So sure, we have this, this uh, overhead resistance placed in here with this horizontal um, resistance line here, uh, relating back to this April 2019 pricing and also back here in 2020 of, of November and uh, even the beginning of the year here, you can see it as support here in May uh, before the big dump down into this rectangular um, range. This is a weekly price chart, by the way, and now breaking out of it. And that, that this has been a triangular shape here. Uh, there was some weird activity on this exchange, on the KuCoin exchange with the track price. So I, I'm not too worried about this wick holding, respecting here and here tells me that this is a decently valid line here as an uptrending, uh, uptrending support line. So then it, they come together and make a converge to this triangular, this triangular formation. So if if you want to do, let's say we're going to take this fib extension is good for comparing one distance with another. So let's say we want to compare this whole distance here. Okay, and then we're going to, oops, but that's a downward distance model. So we're going to go up. So we want to go this distance from from here to here. Okay. And then we're going to take that here from starting here. Okay, boom, 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 boom here. And where it's breaking out, I mean, you could go break out, but let's just call it from the, the impulse that it takes. And that will be uh, a one-to-one -one would bring us all the way back here to about the uh, 2,600 Satoshi level. And, you know, previously we were down here at the five, 600s. So it's a good four X here, even from this level here, which is thousand. Uh, you can look for another um, what 100, 150% move as potential here. So, and uh, yeah, and then you can keep watching track and um, and go from there because once this is broken, there's a good chance to get higher uh, into the three and maybe even touch the 4,000 levels. And hey, that would be a 1618 if we are comparing this. I mean, who knows uh, where that's going. If let's imagine, so here's the thing though. You know, if we want to respect the, the wicks of the candles, there's a weekly price, then this comes into play and it's a lower low than here. So then we're not, I'm not really considering it in the same. But if we're just taking the general shape and if we want to really uh, look at this kind of activity here, uh, we could definitely consider this like a, a one because this could be a, a low uh, and this could be a, a one. And now we're in the two uh, making our way to the, the next, which could be some three way. We'll see. If that's the case, then yes, a, a, a 1618 type move. If it's going to be an even more complex three, that would be interesting. Uh, 1618 is, is not out of the question, but uh, we'll see what, what ends up happening. If it's the five, that's going to be more. And it, then this might just be a one to one, again, getting us to about that 2800 Satoshi level uh, before the next move. Um, that fifth move, then, then, I mean, this is all speculation. But, uh, you know, at that point, if you're going to the 2800 level, he said, so let's say 28-ish, um, 
and then we're gonna take yeah so like that's how you could get to about a 6500 level and then if you wanted to take it down here but i don't know we could we, that, that that would take a bit more you know using retracements as well because for example here we, we retraced about uh, roughly 78.6 so maybe the next one wouldn't be as severe so let's say you're going to retrace from the 2800 um around here and let's say you're going to go 618 that might make it to about the, or even the, the 0.5, uh, or even more bullish would be a 0.382, which is probably more, hopefully more likely. Uh, but even then, so then let's say we're taking again that 1618 of, from the 2800, or it would be a one to one even. And we're starting from the 618, that would be a 4400 Satoshi level, which, which would be from 1550, 1550 to 4400 ish. We started if we retrace only the 0.5 a one-to-one -one would be uh the, just not that much higher 4700 level so 1618 in the 6000 6500 level and if it's super bullish here and it bounces off 38.2 and makes your way higher for a one-to-one -one, uh then we get uh nearly a 5000 satoshi level or you know 666 6660 6, in the 1618 level so that's the kind of uh, idea for track, but of course that would probably take time. Um, this would be, you know, this would be the origin trail developing itself into the market and then market participants seeing the potential through here. Now, this is the ERC20 version, I guess, this is the Ethereum version. I think that they're involved with other um, chains and interoperability. So you can check it out yourself if you want. That's the track chart. We'll keep an eye on it. We're looking at it more long-term. And uh, that's that's where we're looking with the track uh, currently around the 47 cents level. Cool. Okay, that's the track breakout. I was wondering when that might happen, and it did. Just going over to the theta price chart. Here with the theta price chart, we're nearly back down to that channel. So here we'll watch that. We are making a lower low than the previous low here. So yeah, bearish. Uh, let's see here. What are some ideas? Let us take this one here. If you want to play this game, we'll go from here and want to want it. And that would break that, that channel. So that's a danger zone. That's a really dump. That would be very terrible for theta. And hopefully the rest of the market wouldn't be seeing that either, but nothing is out of the question. Uh, hopefully maybe, hopefully it would just take a 61, eight of that move. Um, I think that's possible. Also, if we're taking, yeah, let's take it from here. Let's imagine. Um, totally. Yeah, let's find the way back into this channel and see if it can hold. Uh, maybe it's not even, maybe it'll pop itself at the, the 1,000 Satoshi level, uh, or sorry, 10,000 Satoshi level. All right. And it'll bounce off the top of the channel. That would be bullish, in my opinion. On a, this is a daily price chart. So weekly is, yeah. Weekly is looking, also let's retrace this move. Yeah. Could be done pretty soon. This could be just the, 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 the like final dumpage. Uh, we'll see. Cool. That's the weekly price chart. And then on the ICX, I just wanted to recognize, I think I had mentioned it the last time. Those of you watching that one, thanks for liking this video, by the way, and making comments. Okay, so here it was. We had traced this uptrending line. It was previously support here. And broken, fought, failed, maintained this secondary uptrending support. Uh, but anyway, uh, made a move up, confluenced with that uptrending the first one here, uh, but the resistance there was also uh, confluencing with this um, downtrending, uh, longer downtrending resistance. See that? So that's pretty cool. Interesting to see um, chopping around here, trying to hold the levels at the, you know, the 3000 Satoshis is a good level to hold. All right, 3000 Satoshis is a good level to hold. ICX bullish. Otherwise, it uh, might take longer and maybe we're going to go retest down towards the, the 2000 Satoshi levels. That would be quite the market dump. Okay. 
And there you have that. That's the ICX BTC on the daily. And then when we check weekly timeframes, um, we can see here, you know what? It's not looking bad. It's nothing horrible, but it's still weaker than this, right? It's lower and a lot of pressure. This is just a very sideways, very uncertain situation here. So we'll see what ends up happening. This could just be a pause, right? We shall see. And then again, it could be a, a longer term. So here we go. And I think, yes, we'll check out that XYO. It started the dump page and it is at the, the three cents. It's the weekly price chart. And then Satoshi's, it's in the 6,000 Satoshi's level. So there you have it. Look for a reversion back towards this trend line um, because this was quite the intense pump over three weeks, which is often the uh, a good decent time frame for um, pumps uh, you know like over you know markups let's call them heavily marking marking it up on a daily term you can just see it's just bleeding it's just bleeding so that's that's just that's the correction that we're dealing with uh, a lot of weakness can't even can't even really bounce up yet it's just been i i get the sense that this is just the beginning it's uh, I mean, I could be wrong. This could be um, going higher, but uh, that really means that it's going to need to be a superior, superior product, superior situation. Um, yeah. Based on this, on a daily, I'm looking at something along this line here. You know, I, do we want to use the the wicks? I don't even know. Um, so something like that. And then we'll see where it like bounces around, does its thing, maybe it touches this trend line or whatever it needs to do. Because, and I don't know how long that would take. You know, I don't know what this is all about. This would be till November. It might need, you know, a few things. You say pirate chain, it's a similar idea, right? It just makes a huge massive markup. It might need to uh, retrace itself, figure itself out. We'll see, uh, but this is the XYO. Uh, for a chart on daily against BTC. Okay, I think that's it. Other than the Darrow, let's just uh, check out the Darrow. Yeah, Darrow's been strong, super strong. Much respect to the Darrow price chart. I mean, goodness, this is large. Again, a daily price chart. So let's see here for a second. Let's take one of these next. Oops, that's not what I want. Well, it will be. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 kind of interested to see what's going to happen here. We shall see. This is the daily price chart, and when we when we look at. Ooh, how long can you go? We shall see. Again, this also has to do with like, what's the market seeing, what's it doing? Um, and on a weekly time frame, it's just, it's been pretty strong, but uh, is this, what is this signaling here? You know, is it's gonna have to have some sideways time now? And then what does that mean longer term? So it has had a huge markup. I mean, do these, do these stay up forever? Some of them do. You want to look at Hex, it does that. Um, anyway, Daryl's been looking good. Even this, like it's just not gone down much against the BTC. So that's really good. That's really good so far. So good. Um, but if it starts, you know, coming down, then we're looking at... Uh, Looking at a decent level around 33,000 Satoshis. Look, if we go to the daily, yeah. yeah we're looking around the 30, even the 35,000 first on the daily, but yeah, okay. That would be bringing back to this channel and, and then, then you got some concern. I'm saying it's biases to the downside currently. And then in which case we, lost some of the upward momentum and uh, longer term. We'll see what that means for the Darrow price. 
against BTC. All right, so that's Daryl and you wanted to see this hex chart here. That's just for fun, take a look. Hex, USD. Um, wow, this is a lot of sideways choppiness and a lot of big wicks I do not like it. But then again, what do I know? Um, just double toppings and stuff. This is a daily price. Oof, weekly, it's like it has run up hard and this just might be an intermediate correction before moving higher. Like, look, these, this, this, this seems to be pretty well supported. Uh, not, not even pretty well, like very well supported. So regardless of what we're seeing on the daily, uh, the weekly is looking good. It's looking strong. And so, yeah, again, this could be an intermediate top, just like similar to this here. This was a significant correction here, okay? Um, it lasted from from mid July to uh, to mid August. So here we're around mid September. We could go to mid October. All right, that would be a similar time frame to this correction. Um, that's the hex price against USDT. Looking at the Uniswap. Okay, this is I'm using Get Orox, and so if you are interested, go for it, use it, it's fun. It's pretty good, you can use all the trading view indicators. Um, it's gotten much more responsive in terms of the lag and, and all those, ty those types of factors. Wow, just wanna check uh, this. Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. This, this is a very interesting chart as well. This is a weekly price chart on the Cardano price. And I mean, like clearly you have one, two, three, four, five here, don't you? But uh, does it have to work that way? Not necessarily if we're making a more complex degree of a wave. Um, it also depends if this is considered a first wave in this, in this move here. So let's say you're going something like this, okay? And then you get that impulse, like that works for me. One, two, and now we're on three and, and it's making four. I mean, that's gonna be a big correction though, isn't it? Maybe, maybe not. This was a severe correction. So it might not be a severe one. And in, in terms of the, the relative move down. So for example, if we're comparing severities, let's say we roughly go, this was nearly one to one. It was about 78.6, 81% retracement. So it was quite a full retracement. Uh, and then we wanna go to this next impulse and we say, okay, what kind of retracement might we get here from here? Let's imagine this is a top. Uh, yeah, you could definitely see 38.2 to uh, bounce off this previous high and show a lot of strength here. And that would also provide this same support as here. I don't think we're gonna hold this as our support level. So yeah, I, I do see a, like a 37, 3,800 Satoshis as being definitely possible here. Uh, then again, um, it, this, yeah, the ADA price, who knows? Like it's just been such a fast mover and strong mover. Um, also, if we're looking at time frame, let's say we're saying we just took about, it took about uh, 22 weeks. So what, are we going for 22 weeks? Um, that would be rough, 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 rough. Although, you know, sideways and channeling for a few months, this would begin the beginning of January. That conference is again with that, that idea with Bitcoin, but um, well, We'll have to see, we'll have to see. The idea being uh, that there might just be some sideways choppiness, okay? So there you have it. This would be a 38.2 retracement. This here would be a, a, into the 3000 Satoshi would be a 0.5 retracement. And hey, that could also be involved when, when BTC is going higher. Let's say BTC turns it around. 
And but then the ADA BTC is going to need to chop further down so that the ADA USD can stay in some sort of range that it needs to be in for its own market cap for the, the operator, a composite operator to figure itself out with what type of pricing. So what do we want to see here? I just want to check here, uh, relationship here. Okay, so it's hot more than one to one. So at least the, the three is bigger than the one. And and the five is what, it's a seven eight six anyway okay well I mean this fits this fits and if you want to use candles I mean it's nothing much of a difference so anyway there's your ADA your look at ADA okay friends I think that's it I really oh you're calling me over to Doge just because it's got twenty one cents now. This is the 30 minute chart. Who did that to us? Let's go to a weekly. Oh boy, Doji, 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 Doji. You are looking at, this is Doge BTC. You're looking at a 200 Satoshis. Wow, let's see, maybe, maybe you're lucky with like bouncing off at a 300. Otherwise, holy moly. Holy moly, what are we looking at here? Uh, let us get a line chart. So. A, B, C, X. Let's see if we can get an A, B, C and it's just a smaller one. Like why would it be? This is great, there's gotta be a missing X wave in here. Um, let's go to daily for a second. Oh, I just want to slip my leg. Yeah, here's that missing waves here. So, okay, this could work. Actually, this is not so bad. This is not so bad on a daily. On a daily, I can handle that too. Uh, it's interesting because you get like one bigger move here and then you get a kind of smaller move here. Let me just show you what I'm thinking. Oh, right, let's keep going. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this is a correction, right? Let's imagine we're getting some sort of uh, I don't even know if this would be the, yeah, this would probably be the A, A, B, C, okay? Some sort of flat pattern like that. And we get some X move, and then we can get an A, B, and another C here. And the angulation of this ABC, find this in, in the crypto price charts, maybe in other stocks and other stuff too, but really in the cryptos where they kind of flatten in a certain way. Um, so, I mean, this is a bigger scale version of, sometimes it just gets so flat. But that's another story. Okay, uh, so we look at things on different scales and in different uh, angulations. So we get the first correction here and we get some sort of X wave. And now we come back with the next one here where, oops, where you get the next ABC. And so where does that go? Well, and it itself becomes a bit of a flat pattern because of how high it's gone here. So watch. We take this retracement here. Yeah, it's like 81% retracement, so we're good for a flat. And then currently, we are we are at a one-to-one -one retracement. So this is still a, this is a decent flat pattern here. We can have a, a double uh, a, a double flat here, totally. Um, no doubt in my mind here. This is likely a double flat, and this would be your and like I said, uh, this. This wave here would be your X wave, okay? You go down ABC, X, ABC. Um, interesting, cool, yeah. Let's hope that it holds here. I, I actually think it will, it should, it should hold here. I'm not as bearish as my mind wants me to be. My heart is still bullish. It's just that sometimes it needs the pain, the, the heavy pain first before we get lifted up. We'll see, we'll see, but we are on the precipice and anything can happen and uh, watch out for that freaking 200 Satoshi level. Whew. Okay, so that's a doge chart on the daily and I'm just gonna just channel, channel, channel here for fun, fun, fun. Mm. Okay, well. Nothing uh, conclusive, but what seems decently 
right. I and mean, it just seems right. Um, and it just forms such a, a nice, interesting double flat pattern, if you ask me. And not only that, okay, it forms that double flat pattern. On a weekly, it starts to look like this interesting, oh, okay, I see where that becomes then. Yes, that's where that missing X wave was. Oh, I'm so glad we did this. Friends of crypto price charts and technical analysis, friends of the Neo wave and other methods of doing it. Here was that missing X wave. So here, Doge missing X wave, um, I'm, 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 I'm happy to say, this is some, some cool stuff right here. Let me know otherwise if you have any other ideas, but uh, we have this uh, ABC X missing X wave. ABC has this next flat pattern. QL, Doge, Dogecoin looking good overall. Let's see what can happen though. Uh, on a weekly, it's looking less good. So if we were to say, fine, oh, oh baby, if this is, but just the angles look so good here. Um, but anyway, I guess it could continue down. Uh, let's say it's going, yeah, let's say it's going for the end of the, end of the year. If this is going to just be bearish till the end of the year, you could, you could do this. And then you're going to lose uh, another 50% from these levels, possibly. All right. It's still possible to lose 50%. Crazy. And this is Doge BTC. So maybe it's BTC going up and Doge USD is going up as well. US, Doge USD, Doge USDT, whatever. Okay. So there you go. Fun times with a missing X wave. I'm going to just call it right here. Missing X wave. Cool. Bang. Done. Awesome. Friends, that's it for me. This has taken much longer than I expected, but I had a good time. I had a good time with this one. All right. And not like I don't have a good time other times, but uh, it's fun to, to just peruse some charts and, uh, and find some cool things. All right. Until next time, wishing you all the best, love, peace, and happiness, and uh, all the rest that you want. Take care. Goodbye.